Welcome, Gary. To your first ever journey into the world of Dungeons and Dragons. As you know, this is a fantasy-based role-playing game, which means all the action takes place inside your head. Each player decides what their character does, and I, the Dungeon Master, decides the outcome of these decisions. Now, since this is your first time, I'll introduce you to the party. This is Sam. His character is a level two cleric, a magical wielding healer. This is Kim, a level three fighter, a skilled soldier, and a leader. Al is a bard, a jack of all trades, and a performer who uses music to boost morale. And Mick is our druid, an expert in nature magic, which is almost always useless. Which leaves you, a wizard, wise in the arcane arts, and the most powerful spellcasting class. Can you please start the game? But he doesn't know the rules yet. Best way to learn is to just play. Okay, fine. Gary. You start in a tavern, enjoying a drink, when suddenly you hear a loud crash. And screaming, you rush outside to see a massive level three ogre at the end of the road, swinging a club at fleeing townspeople. Uh, what do I do? Use this. 20-sided dice, or a d20. You roll it to determine how successful you are in whatever you try to do. The higher you roll, the better. Okay. I, um... I attack the ogre with my quarterstaff. What'd you get? A nine. You rush towards the ogre with your staff and strike him directly in the stomach. The ogre doesn't even react. Instead, grabs each of your arms and tears you limb from limb! Damn. Oof. A beginner's trap. Wait, what? I died already? Rule number one of D&D. &D, never challenge a monster that's a higher level than you. I mean, you're a wizard. Just next time cast a spell. It's okay. It's okay. It was just a trial run. Now that we all know how to play, let's get into the real game. That's a higher level than you.
Your friends are at the door, sweetie. Um, uh, you can send them in. Hey, man. You guys gonna stand there? I got a whole new campaign for us ready. Just hold on one second, I need to find some papers for the new game. Yeah, we're kind of worried about you, dude. And didn't you miss a bunch of school? I mean, you don't look sick. Where's Tom? Wasn't he going to visit a while ago? Alright, here we go. A new campaign. Sure. Yeah. Let's play. Alright. This is an adventure I found called Templar's Terror. The Forbidden Campaign? The very same. What the hell are you guys talking about? So the story goes like this. There are these archaeologists in the 80s who are really into the game and are digging up old ruins in the Middle Ages when they decide to put one of the inscriptions in one of their campaigns. The next day, they start going crazy and destroy every copy of the campaign before completely disappearing. What, like a D&D &D Ark of the Covenant? Hang on, if all the copies are destroyed, how do you have? Well, they didn't get every copy because I found one on, on the shady website and printed it out right here. Right, yeah. Um, I don't know if we should do this anymore, Gary. It's for- Oh, and that's not even the cool part. The real reason I chose this campaign is because of its main monster. It's one of the coolest I've ever seen. The Accursed Draugr is a level 18 undead humanoid. Long ago, it was created by an evil wizard using a mystical incantation, with a curse that, if spoken aloud, will cause the Draugr to appear and pursue you. The incantation dictates that you will encounter the Draugr three times. The first two times, you may choose to run away, and it will disappear. But the third time, you must fight it to the death. Its arrival is signaled by three caws of a crow. Sounds awful plot device-y. Um, it's called game design, Kim, and it's like that for a reason. Anyways, the summoning incantation goes as follows, and this is the part with the real inscriptions. Digimus Criterum. Clamat Cantet Ter. Bis Carreret. Facium Tum Sui. Dum Canator Ot Mori Supina. Wait, where are you guys going? Uh, I just got, like, a lot of homework tonight. Me too, dude. Sorry, dude. This is just too fucking weird. Yeah, I'm out, man. Where are you going? What's going on, Gary? Are you okay? Mom, something terrible has happened. Oh my god, what? Look, this is gonna sound crazy, but I summoned a Draugr. Oh, okay. So you're playing one of your games. You know, you can't go running out of the house like that. You're gonna give me a heart attack. Mom, I'm serious! Gary. 
I don't want to hear another word. Now, don't you have some homework to catch up on? And when he went back into the basement, it was gone? Yeah, no trace of it. Maybe you should have tried casting Fireball. Wait, guys, this isn't a joke, okay? I swear to God, it was there. Yeah, and Kubrick faked the moon landing. Look, I'm not stupid, okay? I know this sounds crazy, but you have to believe me. Why should we? Like, seriously, dude, you're completely obsessed with D&D. &D. What? No, that has nothing to do with this. I mean, he's got a point, dude. You never talk about anything else. And you're always doing your research. Do you even leave your basement? I spend all that time making campaigns for you guys. It's not like you've been around lately. About that. We start- Shut up, Al! You started a new campaign. Without me. Okay, you take the game way too seriously, dude. It's all rules with you. You treat it like it's real life. And now you're saying it is real life. But it is real! You guys saw all that weird shit that happened when I read the incantation? The power went out, dude. Gary, it's just a game. Fuck this. Gary, wait! What do you want, Sam? Gary, I... Peter convinced me that I'm crazy? No, I... Why don't you save it, Sam? Why don't you start another campaign without me? Gary, I believe you. You do? Yes. Maybe. I don't know. I still think you're obsessed, but I don't think you'd make something like this up. And that stuff with the lights was not normal. That wasn't just the power going out. I was reading the inscriptions from the Forbidden Campaign. Must mean they were real. If they summoned the Draugr. I think they killed those archaeologists that first read the incantation. Now you read it. I'm not gonna be able to fight this thing alone, Sam. I need help. Sam, the crow! Ah! What are you... When a crow calls three times. Ah! He's here. Sam? Yeah? I need you to go through those papers and find something, anything that can help us escape. Is it the only way to make it go away for the person who summoned it to fight it? No, never challenge a monster that's a higher level than you. Well, what level is it then? 18, it's level 18. What are we supposed to do then? Just look for something, a flaw, there has to be something there. I'll try to distract it. Uh... Strength plus 10, dexterity plus 3, constitution plus 7, wisdom plus 5, intelligence plus 9, and charisma plus 9. Let's try to find a flaw or something! Okay, okay! Right out of that alley, man. I'm going as fast as I can. I found it! Uh, the accursed dragger is immune to fire, cold, poison, acid, and all non-magical damage. That means... It can only be destroyed with magic. Magic? Magic isn't real! What the hell do you call that? I don't know about you, but I don't carry any magic on me. We are really running out of places to run. Just hold on a second, let me think! How many times can it attack us? What? Per turn, how many times can it attack per turn? Uh, one. In the game, each round is six seconds long. 
we can get to spend its turn on an attack. And that leaves us with five seconds to get around it and escape. How do we get to attack without hitting us? One of us is gonna have to block it. You sure this is gonna work? Not at all. The next time this thing shows up, running away won't work. It shows up at about the same time each day, so that leaves us with roughly 24 hours. 24 hours to do what? To figure out how to use magic. We need to scour these books, look for anything we can find. If we summon the monster, there has to be some way to use magic. Actually, you summon the monster. And now, I'm gonna kill it. Fall asleep? Yeah, man. I did too. Just woke up. What time is it? Oh, 1 p.m. You already missed most of school. I guess your mom just assumed that we left early. Never mind that. We're running out of time, we still have nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Not nothing in any of these books that can help us. Not even a technicality. Not only is it immune to non-magical damage, but elemental damage as well. Even if we set it on fire with magic, it still wouldn't be enough to kill it. Well... Maybe we don't have to damage it. Huh? There are other ways to get rid of a monster. What are you saying? It has to go somewhere when it disappears, right? It dwells in the ethereal plane of existence until it's summoned by the incantation. So, like, it's in hell until it's summoned, right? Sorta. I mean, technically the ethereal plane is the space between life and death, but- Okay, whatever. Read this. Advanced Banishment, level 7 enchantment. You banish the target from his current plane of existence. The target can no longer use abilities or spells that allow interdimensional travel. The incantation states that it only appears three times. So if we cast a spell as soon as it reappears- Then the dragger is stuck on the ethereal plane forever. Won't be summoned a fourth time. We won't even have to fight it. Great. So we just have to wait until it reappears. Well. What? It says here we need to burn the essence of the monster. Those might work. And it requires five people to cast. Oh shit. What? I have a test in bio today, and I was gonna use Sam's notes. You can use my notes. You're right. I want an A, dude. Wow, okay. I only got a D last quarter. I mean, maybe you should actually do your work, Kim, and then this wouldn't be a problem. Whatever. Don't be a dick. We? Did they both skip? I swear to God, if Gary got Sam believing his stupid monster story. Oh shit, he might have. I mean, like, if they both skipped. Maybe we should go. <laughs> Good one. Anyways, I. No, really, I'm serious. Shut up, Al. Will you guys listen to me for once? We should go help them. Why would we do that? Because Sam and Gary are our friends. Our friends who think a monster from a role-playing game is trying to kill them? So what? That's not what friendship's about. We're friends with them because we care, not because they always make sense. Whether or not there's a monster, there's obviously some kind of problem, and we have a responsibility as, as friends to help them. No party member left behind. When did we forget that? She's right. Fine, we'll go. 
But no one under any circumstance is participating in Gary's little mental breakdown. We're going to talk some sense into him. Well, I believe him. God damn it, Al. Al, monsters aren't real. Why would they make this up? Because Gary's crazy. No, I saw it too. It's real. See? They can't both be crazy. Why not? You want Gary to be crazy, don't you? So you don't have to deal with him? You didn't even want him in the party in the first place. No, I- Everybody please, just calm down. Gary, you calm down. Gary, you skipped school to do this. Because we need it. I told you, we needed to cast Advanced Banishment No! On... Forget about the game for one second. Hey, watch it, man! Hey, dude, you need help. Then help us! No, professional help. Okay, medical professional help. Man, ever since Tom left, you've been completely obsessed with this game. You, your grades are tanking. You won't talk to any of us. Like, why? That is not what this is about! Yes, it is! Look, we know you miss him, but you're just making up problems so you don't have to deal with it. D&D isn't a substitute for real life. What the hell are you doing, man? Look at us! Uh, guys? You can't just turn your back on this like every other problem. At some point, you're gonna need to accept the fact that Tom left. Ah! Guys! He doesn't live here anymore! He moved on! Why can't you? Guys! Your mom doesn't, by any chance, have a pair of metal shoes, does she? Okay, okay. We need to cast the spell now. This spell didn't work. Why didn't it work? I don't know. Check the rules or something. The rules are gone. Gary, you have to fight it! I can't! Never challenge a monster at a higher level than you! It's not a 
daily more. So Dungeon Master, what's in store for us today? Well I just finished a new campaign and... Actually, do you guys want to do something else today? <laughs>